Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing another set for the Shop Zen range and these are called the Enso and got quite an interesting shape on these. A nice red PCT coating as well. So let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 23 gram version. They're 80% tungsten. They're also in 24 and 25 gram in steel tip, 18 and 20 gram in soft tip, and they retail for £54.95. So, as you can see, it comes in a slim cardboard package. Here. You got a little bit of info about the idea behind the darts on the back. Inside, you've got a foam inlay holding everything in place and the darts come fitted with some in-between alloy stems and the Enso Circle 100 Micron small standard flights. The darts fitted with a black coated point and it's a slightly unusual shape, kind of a straight barrel but with two prominent scallops and I'm not sure but I think the middle section maybe just because of the scallops it's got a slight curve to it uh, but it's a kind of a, a ring style grip ring and groove and a little bit different around the middle section and as you can see it's got that red pct coating but quite a nice looking dart got a nice bull nose there and it actually does feel quite comfortable in the fingers especially at the scallop parts now if you're gripping around the middle if you mid grip it kind of just feels like a slightly chunky straight barrel ring grip dart but the other two sides sit very nicely into your fingers there so going to be an interesting dart to try and it's fitted with some in between alloy stems and the small standard Enso flights so as you can see it's got a slightly tapered bull nose and that first scallop section it's made of double thin rings with wider grooves and the very narrow uh, grooves have got the red PCT coating on and as you get towards the middle you've got these flatter wider rings and wider grooves with the red PCT coating again and then on the rear you've got the other scallop mirroring the front section and then some more flat rings with the wide grooves and then on the very end of the barrel you've got a smooth tapered section so there you go that's the super close look at the shot zen enso the darts fit with a black coat at 28 millimeter point there's a slightly tapered bull nose that's 3.5 millimeters then you've got the first scallop made of the thin double rings and slightly wider grooves that's 12 millimeters around the middle it's a flat ring grip with wide grooves that's 11.8 millimeters and then you've got the other scallop section again that's 12 millimeters some more of the flat rings and groove 3.7 millimeters and then a smooth tapered section on the end 6 millimeters length is 49 millimeters widest is 7.2 millimeters Right, just to give you a little bit of information first because I like to provide the right information on this channel. Uh, shot don't actually match weight guarantee their 80% tungsten barrels. It's only the 90% tungsten that are guaranteed to be match weighted. So there you go. But we weigh them anyway, so that's 23.09 grams. and 23.09 grams again and 23.08 so they were nearly perfect but they don't guarantee the match weighting on the eight percent like i said full setup 25.18 grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. I guess the scallops kind of act like their own kind of grip, but overall the actual physical grip, probably 5.5 .5 at most.
Yeah, it's got quite a nice feel to this. Um, I'm a fan of a bull nose anyway, so I'm gripping it pretty close on the nose. But because it's got that scallop section there, the curve part is just like maybe half into my thumb. Just give me something to push against, so got a nice feel to that. couldn't see the treble there so I don't know how I got that in but I don't know what it is but it seems as if it feels a little bit heavier than 23 gram and the only thing I can think of is because the wide section is in the middle and it's just kind of like pressing down on the back end of my thumb treble one champion But yeah, definitely got a nice feel about these. Um, it's, it's flying a lot better than I thought it would because it's a slightly strange shape, but just has a pleasant feel. And I think if you're a fan of the Maven King bam, bamboo style and whether you're a front or a rear gripper and you want something like an alternative, definitely worth a look if that's the style that you like. But if you've not tried that kind of style before, I think it still might be worth a look for front grippers. Just has a, a very nice feel there. Hmm. That last one seemed to go through the air pretty quick and pretty flat as well. Obviously holding it there on them uh, rings in the middle section it just feels like a straight barrel ring grip but I think maybe the balance might be a little bit better simply because it's got the uh, the scallops either side so most of that weight is in the middle so maybe fine for mid grippers and you may actually find it just a little bit nicer balance but I'm not is that in the middle I'm not entirely sure if it's fully in the middle that I haven't me measured them yet so I don't really know oh, you've got another treble there but yeah that was flying a lot better from the middle than I thought so it could be one of them that's that end up being a, a nice all-rounder but maybe just slightly quirky enough that it's one that you have to try first yeah i got a treble from the rear grip <laughs> Now I did notice they were actually spinning quite a bit through the air but they were going pretty straight so if you're a natural rear gripper they should be going better for you. But like on the front section I was maybe only half in the scallop. I feel as though my grip is a little bit more fully into it on this one so I always say with a the scallop, they do feel quite comfortable in the fingers, but you have to make sure you get a clean release. Oh, I nearly got another one there. So we're getting it, throwing it right from the rear. They were flying quite nice there. So, again, like I say, it might be an all rounder this one, but. It is maybe slightly quirky, so the balance may be better or worse depending on what you're used to. I actually found it quite nice thrown from the front and balance in the middle was maybe better than what it is on a normal straight barrel, but you might think different. But I'm not entirely sure that section where I was holding it is fully in the middle because it looks to me as if it's a little bit closer to the start of the other scallops. So. Anyway, not too bad from the rear, so if you're a natural rear gripper, it should be fine.
that's that treble five bugger. Oh, and I got the last one in as well. Look at that, right in the corner of the treble five and the other two were in just right. Apart from that one, I suppose it was a little bit over to there, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a 180 with these. There's just something, just that right feeling about them. Um, just the, the way it sits in my fingers there, it just makes it easy to throw. Um, a lot nicer dart than I thought they were gonna be as well. I, I was expecting them to be a bit weird through the air, but flying a lot better than, than I thought. Um, it, like I say, it could be a dart that might suit all. Um, obviously, if you're into your scallops and you're a front or rear gripper, definitely give them a try. Um, mid grippers, it's still just kind of like an ordinary straight barrel ring grip feel, but the balance may be better, so it might be worth a mid gripper as well because of that. But it could be one of them darts that you're not gonna know until you try, but I think it may surprise some people. Just felt really nice there at the front. So I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy darting.